I know for a fact their sandwiches are good and everything else looks great. What is up Mouth Maniacs? It's Sean the Mouth Eats here with the Goat Food Challenges, Josh. And we're doing an in-restaurant mukbang. We're at America's Pie in Westchester, Pennsylvania. We used some of our winnings from our previous food challenge here that consisted of four of their Parmo sandwiches. And we ordered over $100 worth of food, all of it pretty much Italian style. So we got sliders, we got pizza, we got calzones, and we might even have some dessert later. So we're just gonna do this, like I said, a casual meal that's over 15 pounds combined, I'm guessing. It's gotta and, be. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get into it and enjoy this. Kind of a relaxing video, no time limit today. So stay tuned, guys. All right. I got two cheeseburger sliders and two of their pulled pork, and it comes with fries. And I got some mac salad as my side. Mm. That spicy barbecue sauce is awesome. 1085 grams for my slider platter. Why do I start with the cold? I also want to eat some fries before they get cold because everybody knows cold fries are not any fun. I'm a blue cheese connoisseur and uh, this is really good, good blue cheese. You can hear some of that background noise, guys. A little pickle action. Here. Tastes bad. A cute little cheeseburger slider, guys. Cause we ain't from up in colleges This is the generation that barely knows what homage is Fighting flows and rhymes, man, they own some straight garbage Yeah, originality is No calorie, but definitely space in the stomach Wow, I wish they'd give me more of this Mac salad That's why I had a scholarship That lethal with the words out of this world Awesome Last cheeseburger Last cheeseburger cider for me As far as people selling not for riches Just to get an applause I'm gonna move these out of the way this is Isabella with, I think it's portobello mushroom, deep, yep. deep fried, and that is 351 grams. Me and Josh split one of these. This is part of the um, American Voyager, Voyager challenge that we did. It's on the ride through the store, and I can feel it. It's slowly coming back to the core of good music. Back when legends were spitting, the shit was different. It wasn't debates. If a bar was actually written, I'm gonna be creative, super innovative. I promise when I make it, I will never leave the basics. I'm gonna start moving on the pizza. That half an Isabella sandwich was delicious. These are hefty pieces of pizza, guys. 561 grams for two slices. For two slices of pizza. That's over a pound. It's still pizza, guys. Look at this. It's got bacon, chicken, jalapeno, onion rings, and mozzarella and cheddar, I think. We ate the greatness that we emulate is Kobe wearing number eight. If we communicate what's real, then we gon' be straight. It's inevitable to happen like a natural disaster. Mobap is coming back, but it couldn't come any faster. The complexity with What is the other slice called? The Sean Kyle. Oh, the Sean Kyle. My patterns, man, I'm on another planet. Running circles around these actors. I'm the ringmaster of Saturn. If you ain't with the trends, then you become unpopular. Bunch of copyright copycats, what's her name? Copy this. I think I'm gonna throw one more of my um, pistol pizza on, get into this tomato pie in front of us. Wow. 397 for the pasta one. The pasta. Clocks and the gossipers, I'm old school. I stay on point like a pencil sharpener if they pick spinach, broccoli. And butterflies to protect your cocoon. Man, it's all in your mind or what you can see. Let me know if you guys are team jalapeno or not. Mm -hmm. is precious. Is you guys can't see it. it. Might be out of frame a little bit, but. Me and Josh still have a giant tomato pie to get through. I'm gonna do my last slice of pizza here, and then another corner piece of tomato pie, which has a lot of crust. 416. The basil is very fresh on here. 
get opened up. We actually have some more items that are supposed to be coming later. So yeah, definitely an interesting tomato pie. More well done than you would typically see. Last slice of uh, the specialty pizza. I've done all my specialty pie slices. Two more of the tomato pie. Hot. You can never leave behind what got you through the struggle or what got you through the grind. It's on the rise through the floor and I can feel it. It's slowly coming back to the core of good music. Back when Landry was spitting, the shit was different. It wasn't the bass. We are back. I only have two more slices of my half of the tomato pie. Josh has a lot more than that. Bar was actually written. I will be creative, super innovative. I promise when I make it, I will never leave the basics. You can never leave behind. What got you? 334 for my last two slices. It's on the rise, the restore, and I can feel it. It's slowly coming back to the core of good music. Back when Lenny was spitting, the shit was different. Definitely pretty full, cool, guys. Once the uh, my last calzone comes back, I'll uh, turn the camera back on and finish up here. All right, guys. 6:50. About 25 minutes later, after I just uh, turned off the camera, somehow this is a small <laughs> buffalo chicken calzone. Right now, I'm estimating I'm close to 6.7 pounds of food. Thanks for joining me, Mouth Maniacs, in this week's video. If you've made it this far in the video, I do appreciate it truly. I am in Westchester, Pennsylvania. This is cheesy. That's right, enjoying a cheesy calzone right now at America's Pie. And this is a place where I did a food challenge and was just taking the opportunity to go back and try their food with the $50 gift card that I won as a result. Really delicious food. I would recommend it if you're in the area. Pretty casual video, different from some of my other stuff, not really focusing on maxing out. Although, as you see there, I am clearly getting full at this point of the video. Thanks for tuning in this week, guys. See you next week. Josh just got his deep fried, fried Oreos. Oreos. <laughs> My deep fried Oreos. Golly. Sounds you can't deny, uh. Man, open up your eyes. Meanwhile, I've got a whole cow zone left. Sounds you can't deny, uh. That's hiding over on Josh's side. I'll finish this if Josh finishes a third of that. Make the steaks high. That's a deal. After he finishes all the Oreos and the tomato pie though. And this cow zone you see right here was probably my second favorite item after the pizza. All right guys, you're out. You done? Everything was delicious, but I just got too full. Which means I only ate about 7.8 pounds. I'm pretty happy with the food I ordered and the food I ate, the service here. Again, can't say enough about America's Pie, Westchester, Pennsylvania. You can give them a try, got pizza, get their sandwiches, get their calzone. Get their fried Oreos. Get their fried Oreos. The food speaks for itself, so it all makes sense. Thanks for tuning in to this video of Sean the Mouth Eats. Stay hungry. Stay healthy out there. Till next time. I'll see you guys later. Peace. I'm gonna be creative, super innovative. I promise when I make it, I will never leave the base. Do you want to put the scale? What, what are you gonna eat first?